Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to use the automatic troubleshooter on Windows 10 Pro. So using the automated troubleshooter, you just want to go to your, you want to access your Windows and you're going to click on troubleshooting and here you can see that everything has been categorized by the troubleshooting that you need to do. So if we go into hardware and sound, you'll see sound, devices, network, printing, media, windows, everything. And you can see a little bit of the description into each category. So that's very helpful when performing a troubleshooting of your computer. So we're just going to go back and we're going to go into network and internet, which is probably most the, the most common thing that we do troubleshooting for, just connecting to that Wi-Fi. If we go into systems and security, we see web browser, system power, windows, and windows update. That here you can see a bunch of different information, same, same as programs. Just a little bit of overview of everything that you can do in this option. So we're just going to do a windows update. <laughs> So we're just going to run troubleshooting. So we're going to go back into troubleshooting and we're going to click on systems and security. Once you're there, you're going to click on Windows Update and you're going to get a pop-up window. So here we're going to click Next or Advanced, whichever your needs are. So you can sometimes you have to run it as administrator if you don't have the right access. So we're just going to run it and see what's going on with our computer. So right now it's detecting any problems. So it says that we should try troubleshooting as administrator. So we can do that. So we click that, we're detecting problems, we're just letting the program run. And once it's done, you see that we don't have any problems, we can explore additional options or we can close the troubleshooter or we can view detailed information. So we're gonna go into additional information. We're just gonna go back and we're gonna go on Windows Update again. We're gonna click Next and we're gonna see detailed information. So on here you can see any information that your troubleshooting report gave you and you can resolve the problems right there. So we're just going to redo it again just to make sure that we don't have any thing hiding around. So here we have some issues, potential issues that were checked and you can actually print this out and you can give it to the person in charge of your computer or the person, the IT person, and they can help you out with this. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thank you for watching.